Thank you, Jesus. Do you have oil in your lamp? Yan po ang pag-uusapan natin. Do you have oil in your lamp? Meron po bang gas? Okay. Sa inyong mga lampara. Okay. So, importante po yan. Okay. Na makonsider po natin, importante, importante po ito, especially that we are living in the last days. I don't want to hi highlight what is happening no in 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 Israel no, i don't want to highlight what's happening in the world no i'm not preaching this because there's war going on i'm preaching this because okay this is the truth and it will happen at any time okay that jesus will come soon sabi mo nga sa katabi mo do you know that jesus is coming soon. And so, tignan po natin in Matthew, um, in Matthew 25, okay, makikita po natin dito ang isang parable patungkol sa um, ine-expect po natin that will happen in the last days, no? Okay, and so I'm gonna focus on the parable of the ten virgins Right? And, and makikita po natin dito na, na ito, this is what the kingdom of heaven will be like. No? And I hope that we will learn from this. No? So let's go to uh, verse 1. Sabi dito, at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins. Okay? Who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. Okay, five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, midnight the cry rang out. Here's the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lambs. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lambs are going out. No, they replied, There may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way, to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, he said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. This text po, okay, is an eschatological text. No, ibig sabihin, when you say eschatology, can you say eschatology? Ayan, dumugo na yung ilong ng katabi mo. By the way, kamusta kayo? May mga heartbroken ba rito? Wala naman? May good news na ba sa mga nililigawan? Amen? Okay, may good news na ba? May sinagot na ba dito? Sana. Okay, amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, na nagsashine kayong lahat. Sa totoo lang. Ang, alam mo, ang life giver Manila, ang gaganda at ang gagwapo. Kaya ilabas ang inyong mga ngiti. Di ba? Ilabas ang inyong, alam mo yon best aura for today. Okay? Jesus is coming soon. Amen. Eschatology means the study of last of the last things of last things. Eschatology means the science of the last things. Okay, so pag sinabi mo eschatology, okay, importante po ang prophecy. Importante po itong paksa na ito, no? Okay, because this is all about how things will end. Kung nabubuhay tayo na parang walang katapusan sa dalilan, that's foolishness. May katapusan po ang mundong ito. E nakakatawa kasi ang Biblia, pinakita na sa atin kung papaano mag-i-end ang lahat. 
Hello, do ang didiscuss po natin pagbalik ng ating Panginoong Isu Kristo ay isa lang, no, parte lamang ng, you know, ng, ng end times. But definitely, this play a vital role. Amen? And so, ito pong parable na, na ito is showing us a picture of what the end will look like. And so, makikita natin that the end will, okay, that the end will be all about, not doomsday ha, but all about a, about celebration. It's all about a wedding banquet. Nako po, walang excited. Amen. So, pinapakita nitong parable na ito, okay, na ang Diyos, okay, sa huling mga araw, He will not just come as a judge, but He will come as a groom to His church. Sa kanyang simbahan. Ano ibig sabihin ng simbahan? Those who accepted His love through Christ and lived for Him. Kaya po yung ginagawa po natin dito sa simbahan ay hindi po, alam mo yung wala lang. This is it. <laughs> this is what, di ba? Uh, um, this is the will of God. This is the design of God. Okay, kapag ka, okay, hindi po natin naintindihan ang calling natin bilang simbahan, then, di ba, sayang, we will miss it. Kasi ang babalikan ng Panginoon ay ang kanyang simbahan. At ang simbahan po ay patungkol okay, sa mga taong tinanggap ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon okay, through Christ. Ang mga tao po na nabuhay para sa Kanya. Do you know, alam nyo ba, that Jesus is coming? Alam nyo ba ito? And He is our groom. Siya po ay groom natin. And we need to know about this. Woo! Kailangan natin maintindihan po itong katotohanan na ito. Hindi pa pala tapos, papunta pa lang pala tayo sa exciting part. Oo, nakakatuwa. Ang storya ng Biblia, lalo na ng, you know, dumating si Jesus Christ, nagkatawang tao siya, tapos namatay para sa atin, tapos nabuhay, pero hindi pa pala yun yun. Babalik si Jesus. Naku po. Hindi ko alam sa kung sa generation natin o sa susunod na henerasyon, I don't know if we will witness the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ o kung anong generation ang makaka-witness nito, walang nakakaalam. That's why we need to be prepared. So, anong nangyari po sa parable is this. May sampu daw na virgins na tumatayong bridesmaid sa kasalan na huwag na tayong malito. Okay? Kasi sa Bible, may mga parable okay, na, 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 na ginagamit okay, ang, 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 ang pagiging bride no, sa church. No, tayo daw ang bride, pero minsan ginagamit din, daw, din sa Bible na tayo ay bridesmaids. So, wag na natin ikalito yun. Sa parable na ito, tayo po ay inahilit. Diba, ano ba? Kinumpare as bridesmaids. So, there were ten virgins who, okay, five were called wise thou and five were called fools. Okay? So, yung lima ay wise, yung lima ay fools. And, you know, kaya wise yung lima at yung lima naman fool, hindi, it's not because of their morality. Okay, the issue here is not about, you know, morality. The issue here is about consciousness. The issue here is about awareness. The issue here is about preparedness. The issue here is about readiness for the groom. Hello? Kaya may wise at may full. Ready ka ba sa pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon? Are you ready? Hello? Ready ka ba? Tanong mo ulit yung katabi mo. Ready ka ba? And so, ano po nangyari? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. So, yun na nga. Alright. Okay. Balik ko po, Joe. At that time, kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. 
Okay, five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lambs. So ano nangyari? Yung foolish ones, yung lima, they took their lambs, but they did not take any oil with them. But naging foolish yung lima. Kasi okay, kasala na. Okay, this is what the kingdom of God is like. It's about a wedding banquet. At tayo mga Christians, no, tinawag to be lamp barrier, bearers. Amen. So yung limang foolish, kinuha yung lamp, pero walang reserve, walang dalang reserve na oil. Okay? So in verse 4, the wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. So yung lima naman, kinuha yung lamp, at may kasamang reservang oil. Question, do you have extra oil? Hello? So, ibig sabihin ganito, yung sampu may gagawin. Okay? They had lamps. And the lamps were supposed to be ready and ignited when the groom comes. Okay? And to be honest po, Nung kinikwento po ng Panginoon, ang parable na ito nung panahon na yon relate na relate lahat. Okay? Bakit? Because, okay, ang parable po na ito ay related sa weddings nung panahon na yon Hindi katulad ng wedding natin ngayon. Nung panahon po dati, iba po ang weddings. Yung weddings po, ginagawa tuwing gabi. And yung festivity, okay, often nagla-last for an entire week. Okay? And anytime during the week, hindi po natin alam, doon po mangyayari yung bridal party. Okay? Sa kasalan po, ngayon po, ang, di ba sa panahon natin, ang bida ay ang bride? Di ba? Hinihintay natin yung bride na dumating. Sa panahon po nila, ang bida po ay yung groom. So, yung bride po, yung naghihintay. Okay, na dumating yung groom. So, yung groom kasama definitely mga kaibigan, kamag-anak niya, may, may wedding preparation pa. Okay, yung, 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 yung bridegroom po, okay, siya magdidesisyon kung kailan niya kukunin yung bride niya. And they would walk together kapag ka, okay, ngayon, okay, kukunin ko na yung bride. And yung bride definitely must be ready. Okay, at yung panahon ngayon, definitely laging ready ang bride. Sa totoo lang, talagang pride ng bride yun. Kaya na ikakasal siya. So talagang prepared yung bride. And so, what will happen, nasa queue po ng groom, okay, and then kukunin yung bride, and they would take the longest possible route through the town. Okay, and so mangyayari po, various groups of people, okay, maghihintay, Okay, para ilawan yung dadaanan nung bride at groom. Kasi nga, madilim. So, importante po, maintindihan po natin yan. And so, if you would remember, ang sabi po na Matthew 3, 3, okay, we need to prepare the way of the Lord. He is coming, okay, dapat hintayin natin siya at isa po sa trabaho natin at isa po sa assignment natin is to light our lamps. We need to shine our light. At importante po yung oil para magampanan yung gawain. Kaya nga po yung lima foolish, bakit? Dahil hindi nila sineryoso yung role nila as bridemaids. Inintay nila yung groom. Ang tagal naman. Definitely, natagalan yung groom eh. Nagkaroon ng delay. And then, nung, ayan na, ayan na yung groom. Narealize sila, paubos na yung kanilang oil. So, ganyan tayo, tama po ba? Lalo na sa school. Di ba, lagi tayong cramming. Lagi tayong cramming. Tsaka palang tayo hihingi ng papel o ballpen kapag test na. Lagi tayong cramming. At yan po ang nangyari po sa bridesmaids kasi sila po ay cramming at nagtanong pa sa classmate nila kung meron ba silang reserve na oil. Dahil wala po silang dalang reserve na oil. Amen. So importante po itong pinag-uusapan natin. 
Amen. Ano ang silbi ng lampara kung walang oil? Importante yung oil. Ano ang silbi ng kandila kung walang posporo? Ano ang silbi ng flashlight kung walang battery? Anong silbi ng light bulbs ng ating bahay kung walang electricity? Obviously, gusto nila yung position nila as light bearers or lamp bearers. But they were fools because they did not bring extra oil. They became complacent. Hello? And they didn't think that the oil will run out. Tayo ganyan, may importante tayong biyahe, hindi tayo nag-charge ang cellphone natin. Di ba? Umaga pa lang, wala na. <laughs> Di ba? Malulobat na tayo. Importante na may dala tayong extra. It's like they didn't bring a charger. It's like they didn't bring an extra battery. Hello? Hello? And so what happened in verse 5, the bridegroom was a long time in coming. So natagalan, there was a delay. So ano nangyari po? Yung bridesmaids, they, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. O nga pala, ha, pagdating po sa pagbabalik ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, sinabi na sa parabol, magkakaroon ng delay. Hello? Hello? In 2 Peter 3, 3-4, sabi rito, Above all, you must understand that in the last days, scoffers will come, scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is this coming He promised? Di ba ganyan tayo? Pag may wars, huy, babalik na si Lord. Pag may earthquake, babalik na si Lord. Pero ba't ganun? Wala naman. Ayun, may gera na naman. Ako, babalik na si Lord. Pero bakit wala na naman? So, ano nangyari? Ayan na, tinamad na tayo, hindi na tayo naghihintay. Hanggang sa, ayan na lang, matulog na lang tayo. And so, sabi ng, ng Second Peter, they will, they will say, where is this coming? He promised, ever since our ancestors died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. So, kita na. Kita natin na sandali, huwag tayo magpapadeceive. Sasabihin ng tao, Kailan ba yung darating? Tagal-tagal na dyan sinasabing darating siya, wala pa rin hanggang ngayon. Hindi tayo magpapadeceive. We need to always be prepared. Yes, oo, magpapakasal ka. Amen. Oo, di ba, magtatayo ka ng bahay mo. Oo, bibili ka pa ng kotse. Oo, meron kang goal for you to be promoted. Oo, may goal ka to be wealthy. Okay, lahat yan. But keep in your heart, babalik ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. And dapat nasa isip natin yan. Ang daming napagod maghintay dahil ang tagal naman dumating. But the Lord is telling us, this is the truth. This is what I have promised. Faith is believing in the promises of God na hindi mababali. Kung sinabi niyang babalik si Jesus, babalik siya. Darating ang groom. May delay ng konti, pero babalik siya. At babalik siya at any time. Hindi ko alam kung bukas. Hindi ko alam kung sa isang linggo. Hindi ko alam kung next year. I don't know. Pero isa lang alam ko. Gising. Babalik si Christ. Why are we living as if He will not come back? What happened to the body of Christ? What happened to the church of Christ, we suppose, we are supposed to prepare. We are supposed to get ready. We are supposed to wait for His coming. To expect, Amen, Amen, that He will come back soon. Maginaghihintay ba kay Christ sa Life Giver Manila? Ayan yung masakit eh. Diba? Ayan yung masakit even sa Diba, sa dalawang nag-iibigan, yung isa, umaasa pa. Yung isa, nako, hindi na pala siya hinihintay. Sakit nun. Nagpe-prepare na yung groom natin. Nagpe-prepare din ba tayo? Ina-expect ng groom natin, hinihintay natin siya. Hinihintay ba, naman na, ba natin siya? 
o may iba na tayong mahal? Ganyan kayo eh. And so what happened? So nakatulog, nakatulog. Amen. And so in verse 6, at midnight, the cry rang out, Andiyan na yung bridegroom! Kasi wala nakakaalam eh kung kailan darating yung bridegroom eh. Exciting naman yung ganong kasalan, no? Come out to meet him! Oh, you know what? Sa panahon ngayon, definitely it will be televised. Ang pagbabalik ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Definitely the world, amen, will see the coming of Jesus Christ. And if you if you are persecuted because of your faith, huwag kayong mag-alala, isang araw nga 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 sila. At sasabihin nila, totoo nga si Heso Kristo na pinagtatawanan, minamak, binabastos ko. In 1 Thessalonians 4.16, sabi rito, For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, okay, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Yung mga namatay na, okay, yung mga namatay na, na tinanggap si Jesus Christ, mabubuhay muli, at sama-sama tayo, kung kayo ay buhay pa, nung panahon na yun, Amen, ay mararapture po tayo. Hello, and of course, alam natin that Christ will reign next time. I'm gonna discuss it. Christ will reign for 1,000 years. Hallelujah. Amen. Sino yung gusto marapture? Makikita rin yan. Televised. Na narapture ang church. Sino dito gusto marapture? Yan ang mystery. Na, habang nagpipreach ako, bigang nawala na kayo lahat. Ako na lang pala. Hindi ako narapture. O kaya, eto. Ako na lang. Na, nagpipreach ako. Nagulat kayo, narapture ako. Nasa na siya? Narapture siya. Amen? O kaya, ganito na lang. Nagulat kayo yung katabi mo, narapture na. At hindi ka kasama. Hello? Here is a bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Tanong ko, pag, ayan na, nakita natin, no, CNN, o kung sino man nagko-cover. Ano kayo magiging reaction mo? Iiyak ka ba? Sa tuwa o iiyak ka sa kaba kasi hindi ka ready? Will your lamps burn brightly with life, with joy, with faith, with hope, with love, with praise, wonder, and marvel? Because you can't believe that right before your very eyes, yung hinihintay mo, yung pinagpipray mo, yung, yung pinagahandaan mo, nasa harapan mo na, andyan si Christ! Hindi pala sayang yung pag every Sunday na pagpunta ko sa church. Every Saturday na nagpipray kami, may Bible study pa, kumakanta pa ako sa stage. nag a pa ako. Yung pagtatights ko, yung paggawa ko ng mabuti, pag disciple ko, yung pag evangelize ko, hindi pa lahat, pala lahat sayang. Yung pagpipigil ko, na kahit na inis na inis na ako, pinipigilan ko. Makapatay. Alam ko eh, may tendency ako makapatay Lalo na sa mga bashers ko sa Facebook. Pero pinipigil ko, sabi ko, gusto ko maging katulad mo, Kristo. Hindi pala lahat sayang. O pag dumating si Christ, ang iyong reaksyon, oh my God. Alam ko, kahapon lang may ginawa ako. Naku po, hindi ako ready. Verse 7. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. And bridegroom, the foolish one said to the wise, Mahubos na yung oil ko. Uy, pinyo naman ako ng ball pen. Ganyan tayo, di ba? Sa school, no? Ayun, ball pen. Pinyo yung papel. Naiinis ako sa mga classmates ko na ganun. Kaya ngayon, bumili ka ng ball pen, ng intermediate paper, uubusin lang nila lahat. Gusto ko minsan magpabayad ng tigpi-piso. 
Pero wala, hihingi sila, hindi sila anda. At ang sabi ng mga foolish, give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. So imagine mo, darating yung bridegroom. Lima lang yung nag-iilaw. Pagdating niya doon, doon pa lang sila nakicharge. Kasi malulobat na sila. Doon pa lang sila... Ma- Huwag naman sana pagdating ni Lord, doon ka pala mag-aayos ng buhay. Huwag sana pagdating ni Lord, doon ka pala magre-repent. Huwag sana pag dumating si Lord, doon ka palang mag-serve. Pagdating po sa kaharian ng Diyos, that cannot be. You can't wait to be in the moment to be ready. Ang issue is preparedness. Hindi mo pwede tinatype yung resume mo during interview. Bagsak ka kapatid. Hindi pwede na kapag nanganganak ka na, tsaka ka palang bibili ng crib. Tsaka ka palang bibili ng damit ng baby mo. O ng mga tsupo ng baby mo. Ang mga nanay po naghahanda, alam nila, hindi nila alam kung, kung kailan ba, but alam nila yung Malapit na anytime, puputok ako. Ready na ba? Ako, ako ganyan. Isusulat po na, anong kailangan ni baby? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kailangan ready ako. Hindi ko alam kung anong oras. Hindi ko alam kung anong araw. Pero alam ko, malapit na. You can't build the ark while it's raining. Si Noah po, hindi pa umuulan. Ano po ginagawa? Pinagtatawanan siya ng mga tao. Ang ginagawa niya, binibuild niya yung ark. At hindi pwedeng umuulan. Lord, ibibuild ko yung ark. Kapag umuulan na, that cannot be. Everything has to be prepared. And the issue is this. Ang daming Kristiyano hindi papasok ng langit dahil hindi sila prepared. Gising! Everything is about preparation. The issue in this parable is about preparation. That's why we go to church to prepare. We attend life groups to prepare. Mentor, check mo, kailangan prepared ako, okay ba ako? Sige, sabihin mo lahat nang hindi ko nakikita sa sarili ko. We soak in the Holy Spirit to prepare. We share the gospel to bring in more people to the ark. Why? Because we know na may katapusan ng lahat. Babalik si Jesus Christ. Kung hindi man natin maabutan, mamamatay tayo lahat. Hindi rin natin alam ang oras. At alam niyo po, sabi sa Biblia, kung hindi ka daw prepared, you are foolish. It is foolish not to prepare. Sorry po, ah. Alam mo na anytime, mga anak ka. Hindi ka prepared. Hindi po yung katalino, that's kamangmangan. Sa kaharian ng Diyos, hindi pwedeng kraming. Ingat po tayo sa bukas na lang, bukas na lang ako magre-repent. Bukas na lang ako magbabago. Bukas na lang ako magsaserve. Bukas na lang ako magpapatawad. Bukas ko na lang aayusin yung 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 ano namin yung gulo namin ng magulang ko o ng pamilya ko. Bukas na lang. Paano kung wala nang bukas? Huwag sanang sa kakapalang bibili ng oil o magcha-charge pag nandiyan na siya. Come on, hello. Hello. Hu. Gising. I want you to hold your hearts right now and ask, am I prepared? If not, then start preparing. Now, pwede po natin tanungin, bakit lamp ang hawak? O nga, no, bakit lamp ang hawak? Ibig sabihin ganito, ba't lamp ang pinapahawak sa atin ng Panginoon? Why? Why? Because, o nga, no, because huwag niyong i-expect darating si Jesus to arrive during day. Darating si Jesus in the darkest night. Mararamdaman mong pabalik na siya pagpahirap na ng pahirap ang buhay. 
pagpadilim na napadilim ang mundo. That's why in Matthew 24, we can see here, that's why iniiwasan ko na po to discuss the things that is going on okay, no, here in, you know, in our present time. Because I don't want you, I mean, to judge me that I'm preaching this because there's going on. Hello? But we can see here, look at this. Ito po yung signs ng end times. In verse, Matthew 24, so yung text natin in 25, I mean, definitely, kaya nag share ng parable si Jesus sa kanyang mga disciples is because nagtanong yung mga disciples niya. Okay? About the end times. Okay? Dahil na-discuss niya po ito prior. Ito nga po, papabasahin po natin. That Jesus left the temple and was walking away when his disciples came up to him to call his attention to its buildings. Do you see all these things? He asked, Surely I tell you, not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of age? Jesus answered. Look at this. Kaya po, ang gagawin natin ganito, listen to me. Kapag, again, pag nanganganak tayo, hindi natin alam yung oras, hindi natin alam yung araw. Pero, alam natin na malapit na. Nasa third trimester na, na ako. Anytime, puputok ako. And I want to tell you, we are on the third trimester already. At anytime, babalik ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And sabi niya, dito natin malalaman kung babalik na. Kung, alam mo yun, matatapos na ang lahat. Sabi niya, watch out that no one deceives you. For, look at this, una-una sign is that For many will come in my name, claim I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. Okay? So madami magkiklaim, ako ang Diyos. Di ba? Ako ang Diyos. At ang dami niyan. Nadideceive na nga tayo sa Facebook eh. Amen. Ang dali natin mag-idolize sa mga taong mukhang da- dito ako. Bakit galing magsalita? Ay, grabe naman yung ministry niya. They will claim, amen, that I am the Messiah. They will not point people to Jesus. They will point people to themselves. That's why ingat po tayo ngayon sa Facebook, hindi porky influencer, madaming followers. May kailangan na natin pakinggan. We need to discern. Hello? Madali na lang ngayon mag-viral. Madali na lang ngayon gumawa ng content para ang mga tao ma-attract sa'yo. I want you to stick to Jesus. I want you to be a fan of Jesus. I want to be a fo- I want you to be a follower of Jesus. Kailangan kay Jesus ka lang. Sorry pare, kay Jesus ako. And I and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still come. It is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted. Ngayon, anong mga tayo? Persecuted tayo. Hello? Ngayon, ang number one na katatawanan, mga kristyano. At hindi lang dahil, minsan, nakakatawa kasi talaga tayo, may ginagawa talaga tayo, nakakatawa eh. Pero I'm talking about persecution dahil ginawa natin ang tama at pinipili natin si Jesus. Nung darating ang araw, kaya minsan natatakot sila. Nung sundali lang, pag napasa na yung L, di ba, LGBTQ, paano tayo, e eh, baka makulong tayo pag ayaw natin sila ikasal. Eh yun yung sinasabi ng Bible, we will be persecuted eh. Nga tayo natatakot sa ganun. And you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. Kita mo na, pag may betrayal na, di ba nag-aaway-aaway na ang isa't isa sa simbahan. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. 
And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. So ibig sabihin, makikita natin na pabalik na si Lord kapag pahirap na ng pahirap, padilim ng padilim. Kaya kahit mahirap, kapit. Hindi, ang hirap, ayoko na. Ha? Mahirap, kapit! Mahirap, mas maghanda. Mahirap, mas maging on fire. Mahirap, mas magningning. Mahirap, mas maghintay. Wise people prepare for the times. They are discerning for the times and they prepare for the times. It doesn't matter if we look crazy. What matters is I am prepared. At any moment, babalik si Jesus. Wala akong pakialam kung sasabihin mo sa akin, baliw ako. Kasi baliw naman talaga ako sa kanya. I gotta prepare the ark. And I gotta, di ba, kailangan i-prepare ko yung ark for me and my family. That's why kung babalik na si Lord, prepare mo family mo. Baka until now, hindi ka convinced na kapag hindi nila tinanggap si Jesus Christ, hindi sila maliligtas. Dapat alam na natin kung saan pupunta ang tao kung hindi sila ligtas. And the ark is Jesus. And we need to bring ourselves and we need to bring our family to the ark. Verse 9, No, they reply, there may not be enough for both of us and you. And so sabi nung foolish, pingin naman ng, ng extra oil. So sabi ng wise, ay pasensya ka na. Baka hindi ito enough nung dala ko. Isa ganito na lang advice ko sa'yo, bili ka dyan sa kanto ng oil. Kaya lang, ang tanong natin, naabutan ba niya yung bridegroom? Ayun na nga, bumili ng oil, nagmadali. Andiyan pa. Bili tayo sa tindahan. Eh, layo ng tindahan. Wala pang Gcash. Gcash ang pambabayad nila eh. Ano sabi niya, pasensya ka na hindi ko masishare yung oil ko. Look at this. Pag, pasensya na po. Pag dumating si Lord, bring your own oil. Kanya-kanyang dala. Naku, wala ang kausap. Hindi kasi ligtas naman yung nanay ko. Your mother can't be saved for you. Your mom can't be on fire for you. I, as your pastor, cannot be on fire for you. Your mentor cannot be on fire for you. Oil cannot be borrowed in the last days. Huwag tayong kakamot-kamot, pare. Pahingi naman ito naman. Parang, di, parang, parang, parang others, di ba? Friends tayo. Oo, friends tayo. Pero, M times sa andyan na si Jesus. Hindi pwedeng share ng oil. Ngayon, nagpapalakasan tayo. Ngayon, accountable, accountable kami sa inyo. Pero pagdating sa end times, pagdating sa inyong salvation, kanya-kanya ito. That's why we need to work our salvation with fear and trembling. Tama na, lukewarm. Kaba hanggang ngayon, lukewarm ka pa rin. Kapatid, alam mo naman, hindi ka dapat maging lukewarm. Gising! Kapag darating na si Lord, hindi pwedeng tsaka ka pa lang bibili ng oil. That's foolishness. That's not being wise. And so what happened, verse 10, but while they were on their way to buy the oil, wala na, hindi nila naabutan. Kaya importante na prepared tayo. Kasi baka hindi mo maabutan. Pabili pa lang sila ng oil, dumating na yung bridegroom. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet. And the door was shut. Verse 11, later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door, nakabili na kami ng oil. But he replied, sino ka, hindi kita kilala. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day and the hour. When you say keep watch, hindi ibig sabihin huwag tayo matulog. Ang dami na pumunta sa bundok para lang hintayin yung pagbabalik ni Jesus. No, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi na ako mag-aaral. 
hindi na ako magtatrabaho, hindi na ako magpapamilya. Hindi na ako mag-aanak. Mga anak, iiwan ko na kayo. Aakit ako ng bundok. Hihintayin ang pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon. No, 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 no. Kapansin nyo, yung sampu mismo na tulog, it's okay to sleep. It's okay to rest. It's okay to do your own thing. When you say keep watch, it's not literally, you know, waiting, watching. It's being prepared. Yes, be a mom. Yes, be a mom, but wait. Be prepared. Yes, sige, be a businessman. But wait, be prepared. You know, it's, grabe, the door was shut. It's not enough to accept Jesus. Pinag-usapan natin dito, oil. Ibig sabihin, hindi enough na tanggapin mo lang si Jesus. Kailangan oily ka. It's oil or nothing. <laughs> Oo, tinanggap ko naman si Jesus. Ay kapatid, hindi pwede yon. You need to be burning. Kaya misa ka lang nyo, yung fire i-reserve lang sa pastora natin. Ay, yung fire i-reserve lang yun sa mentor natin. Sandali, ang fire, dapat lahat tayo nag-aapoy. Ang problema, umaaten lang tayo ng church but we are not soaked in oil. We still quarrel. We don't forgive. We don't change. We don't mature. We don't burn. Alam mo, sabi ni John Wesley, nakwento ko na si John Wesley sa inyo. Sabi niya, I set myself on fire and people watch me burn. It's not enough na tinanggap mo lang si Christ Tapos aating ka ng church. Pasura, pa-pray naman ako. Gumaling ako, medyo sakit kasi ng bato ko. Uy, gumaling. Thank you po. Hindi tayo pumupunta sa church para, Lord, hingi naman ako. Lord, palakasin mo naman ako. Lord, pagalingin mo naman ako. Set yourself on fire. Na pag nakikita ka ng taan, nangyayari sa'yo. O nga pala, ang apoy hindi mo ma-fake. Ang apoy mararang. Yan. na pagpasok pa lang ng church, mararamdaman yung apoy natin. May nakatabi ka. <laughs> Nakakapasok ka. Bakit? Ewan. Mararam, alam niyo, bago akong Christian, bago akong Christian, people were describing me as, ang layo mo, pero nararamdaman ko apoy mo. Tasa kami na gusto niyan. Yung para ang, ang, ang layo mo, pero napapasok ako sa'yo. Hindi, pwede, hindi ko siyo alam mo yun. Siyempre, hindi naman tayo pwedeng 50-50. Ay, hindi naman tayo pwedeng 100%. Siyempre, 50 kay Lord. 50 naman magtira sa sarili. Kapatid, kung talagang concern ka sa sarili mo, huwag 50-50, bigay mo 100% sa Panginoon. Kung talagang concern ka sa pamilya, eh, paano yung pamilya ko? Paano future ko? Ah, concern ka sa future mo? Concern ka sa pamilya mo? Ibigay mo 100% mo kay Lord. At si Lord ang bahala sa pamilya mo at sa buhay mo. Christianity is all. Oil or nothing. It's either you give your all or you don't give anything at all. And there's no such thing as in between or the door will be shut. Sino dito ang gusto na masaraduhan? Sino dito gusto makapasok? Kamo, palakpakan natin si Lord. Sabihin mo nga sa Panginoon, set me on fire. Sige, tatayo po tayong lahat. Tatlong taon, di pa po ako tapos. Amen. Sige, tatlong tao, oh, tatayo po tayo, parang, ayan, ayan, parang, antok na tayo, do we feel drowsy? Do you want to fall asleep? Sabi mo sa tatlong tao, I set my uh, life on fire. Come on, one, two, three, go. <laughs> o oh, ngayon, declare mo naman, set 
your life on fire. Tatlong tao. Be on fire. Bibilang ako ng tatlo. Ang sigaw natin, fire! fire. Dali, wala pa. Mo, one, two, three! Fire! Wala, wala. Para ang hinihingi nyo, hangin. Sige, bibilang ako ng tatlo. Sabihin nyo, fire! One, two, three! Fire! Naramdaman nyo na yung fire? Isa pa. Come on, by faith. Lord! Set my life on fire. One, two, three. Fire! Kasi ang gulo ng instruction. At the count of three, I want you to ask the Lord, set my life on fire. Ayoko, Lord. Ayoko, Lord. Look warm ako. Ayoko, Lord, 50-50 lang binibigay ko. Lord, ayoko na nasa gitna ako. Ayoko na Christian ako, pero may sama ng loob. Ayoko na Christian ako, pero hindi ako nagsiserve. Ay, taga-upo lang, taga-receive lang. Lord, gusto ko gumaling, gusto ko mabago, gusto ko ma-feel good. No, 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 I don't want a life like that. Set my life on fire. One, two, three. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Makakaupo na po tayong lahat. Who wants to be prepared? And the oil is the reason why we are prepared. Wala na ako oras six na. The issue here is about preparedness. By having the oil prepared ang sasalubong kay Jesus. Dalawang bagay po. Ano yung oil? Ano yung oil na kailangan? Meron akong extra. Ano yung oil na kailangan? Hindi ako maubusan. Because ang lamp ay mananatining lamp. Lamp. Okay? Kung may oil. Yung lamp, magkakaroon ng silbe, silbe kung may oil. Dalawang bagay po. Unang-una, the oil is our love for God. The oil is our love for God. Sino dito gusto prepared ka sa pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon? Then you need to see to it that your love for God is burning. In Revelation, I'm gonna, you know, I want you to read Revelation chapter 1, 2, 3 because my letter see Jesus to seven churches ng Asia Minor that is representing the churches right now. Ang titignan natin, Lord, Lord, anong problema? Anong mali? Inisa-isa niya. Ang makikita natin dito na ang summary is sa importante na makita po natin kay is this particular ang Panginoon sa ating pag-ibig sa Kanya. In Revelation chapter 2, verse 4, Grabe, nakakita po tayo ng church na nasa kanila na lahat. Nasa kanila na lahat. They're an almost perfect church. Mabilis na lang po ito. But sabi rito, yet I hold this against you. When you read a verse prior, inisa-isa ng Panginoon ang commendation niya sa simbahan na ito na Ephesus. I mean, inisa-isa niya, check kayo dito, check kayo dito, check kayo dito. Almost perfect. Yet in verse 4, yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Ibig sabihin, hindi na umaaboy. Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. Oil means our love. You know, hindi tinitignan ng Panginoon if outstanding ka sa Kanya. At tinitignan ng Panginoon yung puso mo sa Kanya. Kaya pala pwedeng andito ka, pero wala ka ng love. Pwedeng nagkakamera ka dyan, wala ka ng love. Pwedeng nagigitara ka, wala ka ng love. And as a matter of fact, your love for Him is what will make you shine. I wanna shine for the Lord. Kung sa tingin mo, magdininin ka dahil sa talent mo, akala mo lang yun. 
Kung sa tingin mo magtiningning ka dahil sa galing mo, akala mo lang yun. Nagniningning ang tao dahil sa pag-ibig niya. Hindi pinag-uusapan dito kung magaling ka, magaling ka magsalita, magaling ka mag-piano or whatever. At tinitignan ng Panginoon, ay, mahal mo ba ako? Kaya ako dumating ako sa point na sabi sa akin ni Jesus, Fethi, akala mo kung sino ka? Kung magpapatuloy pa na hindi mo ako mahal kahit na automatic ginagawa mo yung dapat mo namang ginagawa, hindi ka na magiging effective. Nakakalimutan mo, kaya ka naging faithy dahil sa pag-ibig mo sa akin. At kung hindi mo na ako iniibig, ano pang sa isa'y magningning ka? Nagniningting ang isang tao dahil mahal niya ang Diyos. Wala nang iba. Kaya mga nanay, magniningning ka. Anong ki? Mahal ko ang Panginoon. Magniningning ka sa iyong workplace. Anong ki? Mahal ko ang Diyos. That's why sabi ng Panginoon, consider how far you have fallen, repent, and do the things you did that first. Reflect, repent, redo. If you want to keep your oil burning, then always reflect. Every day must be a reflection. Every day you must consider, Lord, nadapa ba ako? Lumayo ba ako? Yung, yung timbang ba ng pag-ibig ko sa'yo? Gumaan. You need to reflect. At ang problema sa atin, hindi na natin alam yung totoong kondisyon natin because we are not reflecting. We are not doing our devotion. We are not praying. We are not withdrawing from the crowd. And so we need to always check our hearts. How is my love for the Lord? What is the condition of my heart? And once na nakita mo, pangalawa, every day must be a day of repenting. Repent. And number three, redo. Sabihin mo nga, redo. Ibalik mo yung dati mong ginagawa. Hindi ko nararamdaman, okay, gawin mo hanggang sa maramdaman mo. Wala na akong oras. In 1 John 2, 15, 17, sabi dito, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the last of the flesh, the last of the eyes and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires will pass away. But whoever does the will of God will live forever. Lahat na nakikita mo will pass away. May end times. Matatapos ang lahat. But do you want to endure till the end? Then, please stop being worldly. Pwede ba yun na nasa mundo tayo pero hindi tayo makamundo? Pwede ba yun na nandito tayo sa mundo pero separated tayo? Pwede yun. And you must be set apart. At dapat lumutan ka. Oo, ako ay naghahanap buhay pero hindi ko buhay ang paghahanap. Oo, kailangan ko kumita ng pera pero hindi ko buhay ang pera. Hindi ako ang, di ba, hindi ko, hindi ako makokontrol ng pera pero ako ang magkokontrol sa pera. At hindi ako dictated ng sinasabi ng mundo, ang pattern ko ay ang Biblia. Nakatari ako sa mundo, pero hindi ako makamundo. Kaya kung gusto mong hindi maging makamundo, then huwag kang bumabad sa mundo. Kapatid, dapat iba ka. Yung iba nagbabasa, araw-araw, maya-maya, ng mga nangyayari sa Facebook, ikaw po, FOMO sa Facebook, ikaw FOMO sa Bible. Anytime. Anytime. Nagbubukas ka ng Biblia. Sabi ng tao, crazy. Yes. Crazy as it may seem, but I need to on, be on fire. I need to be prepared because Jesus is coming soon. Amo, palakpakan natin si Lord. And number two, and the last, the oil is the Holy Spirit. The oil is the Holy Spirit. In Isaiah 61 verse 1, sabi po rito, the Spirit of the Lord 
God is upon me because He has anointed me to bring the good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners. Acts 10, 38, you know of Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed Him with the Holy Spirit and with power and how He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with Him. Listen to me. Sad to say, we have our lamps. Nasa atin ang lahat. May lamp para tayo. Pero walang oil. We can Google everything. We have an app for everything. We have a gadget for everything. We have a technology for everything. Ang missing natin ay oil. Kapatid, looks are not enough. Ang huge church building, hindi po to enough. Great facility ng church, hindi po siya enough. Gadgets, instruments, ang dami nating manuals, meron tayong mga, di ba, surrounded tayo with people who will help us. We all have everything that we need, but kung walang oil, it will remain a lamp. Sabi ko nga kanina, we need to be oily. We need to be full of oil. Alam mo ang kailangan natin ngayon? Oily Christians. Oily mentors. Oily worship leaders. Oily fathers, mothers, youth, young pro. Kung saan ang mga witches hindi comfortable magstay sa church. Dahil oily ang mga tao. Where the works of the enemy cannot prevail. Where the strongholds of Satan will be broken because of the oil that we have. We need to be shining or we are sinning. Mga kapatid, kung sa tingin mo tatanggapin mo lang si Jesus Christ tapos walang anointing, maniwala ka sa akin. Hindi uubra. Kailangan nagniningning ako. Kailangan full of oil ako. We cannot be lukewarm. We cannot not be powerful, anointed. We cannot not shine. We need to shine. Kaya sabi ng Acts 1.8, Acts 2.17, o oh, sige, mag-provide ako. Only oil. Nako po, wala ka akong kausap. Mag-provide ako only oil. Kapag naubusan, hindi ka napupunta sa tindahan. Kapag naubusan, hindi ka na, uy, pahingi naman. Ang daming tao ganyan. That's why sabi ng Ephesians 5.8, wag kang, di ba, wag kang malasing sa alak. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Last days na. What are you feeling in your life? Ano ang mga, ano ang pumupuno sa buhay mo? Banal na Spiritu Santo? O alak? Sigarilyo? Pisyo? Pornography? Worldliness? Kapatid, kailangan ang gauge. Kailangan maaboy ako. Pagdating sa banal na Spiritu Santo, walang title. Wala akong kausap. Hey! Naku, nakakamiss ang, alam mo, ngayon, na, na, miss ko na ang i- ibang church ata. May kausap ba ako? Come on! We, you need to be on fire! Come on! Say, say amen! Amen! <laughs> Hindi pwedeng worldly ka. Kailangan on fire ka. You cannot stay that way. You need to see yourself serving again. You need to see yourself discipling people. You need to see yourself evangelizing. You need to see yourself helping people on fire. Breaking the works of the enemy. Breaking the strongholds of the enemy. Healing people. Healing the sick. Delivering people. 
from demonic attacks. Hindi enough na receivers tayo. Hindi enough na tayo ay tumatanggap. We need to be on fire. We need to move in the power of the Holy Spirit. Kung compromiser ka, hindi uubra. Kung double life ka, hindi uubra. Kung hindi kasi hindi ko mabigay kasi minsan nasaktan ako, hindi uubra. Bigay mo lahat. Si Lord ang bahala sa'yo. Kailangan ka nagtiningning ang mata mo. Dapat nagsishine ang mata mo. Hindi pag nakikita ka malungkot ako. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi pwede yan. We need to participate in the movement of the Holy Spirit. It says in Acts 1.8, and you will receive power. Kailangan convince ka na kailangan mo ng power. Hindi para baka akyat ka sa stage. Hindi lang stage ang ministry natin. As a matter of fact, nandito ako sa stage to commission all of you for the real stage. And that is in your homes, in your communities, in your workplaces, where you will dismantle the works of the enemy, where you will shine brightly, where you will be used mightily to proclaim the gospel. Balik. 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 Lord, ayokong maupusan ng oil. Lumalabas na sa last days, ang punong-puno ng banal na Espiritu Santo. That's why sabi, ang seal daw natin, seal, tatak. Tata, ano, alam niyo ibig sabihin ng tatak? Tatak. Na tayo ay ligtas ay ang banal ng Espiritu Santo. I want you to stand up right now. Thank you, Jesus. If you want to prepare yourself, if you want to be ministered today, if you want to feel again the love of God, if you want to go back to your love for God, and if you want to be filled, to be charged again by the Holy Spirit, Thank you, Jesus. Harabashi karayarabahande. Kung pupunta kayo sa harapan, sige po, pumunta kayo. Sige po, kung pupunta kayo sa harapan, if you want this, harabashi karayarabang. Sige po, at the count of three, if you want, sige, run. Sige, run. This is not a typical service. We'll all, we always do altar calls. But this time, it's different. You want to be prepared. You want to be ready. You want to be aligned. Lord, patawarin mo ko. Ang layo ko. Lord, kung darating ka, naku po, hindi ako makakabasok dahil hindi ako handa. Today, Lord God, I come to you. Prepare me. Shara, yara. Sige po, meron pang space na harapan. Go, go, go here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Shara, bara, ba, shikara, yara, ba, shikara, yara, ba, hande. Ha, shikara, yara, ba, hande. Talk to the Lord right now. Talk to the Lord right now. Thank you, Lord. Us, Holy Spirit. Talk to us, Holy Spirit. Move in our lives, Holy Spirit. We want to be real Christians. We want to be real disciples.
Sige po. Just focus on the Lord right now. He is the only permanent. He will remain until the end. Heaven and earth will pass away. But God will never. He is the only thing that will remain. Go back to God. Balik sa yung pag-ibig sa Diyos. Huwag makontento na kalahati lang. Huwag makontento na hindi all out. Huwag makontento na hagam pang pang lang. Mag-swimming ka. Bigay mo yung buhay mo. Maging all out ka. Lord, kung may mga kapit pa ang demonyo, Lord, today, right now, pinapalayas ko sa pangalan ni Jesus. Kapit sa kanilang buhay, mga squatters sa kanilang mga buhay, mga nakapark, mga nagtayo na ng bahay sa kanilang kaluluwa, sa kanilang puso. Pinapalayas ko ngayon sa pangalan ni Jesus. In Jesus' name, you are evicted. In Jesus' name, pinapalayas ka na. Lord, I pray for a spiritual demolition right now because hindi na kami pumapayag. Ayaw na namin ang bigat sa aming buhay spiritual. Ayaw na namin ang hindrance, Panginoon, sa paglilingkod sa'yo. Ayaw na namin ang mga pumipigil. Ayaw na namin ang stronghold. Kung gusto namin magpalaya ng strongholds ng iba, palayain mo ang sarili naming strongholds sa pangalan ni Jesus. Today, Lord God, by your blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, And the powerful name of Jesus, lahat ng demonyo sa aking mga kapatid, pinapalayas ko na. Pasensya na kayo. Lalabas, aalis, ayaw na sa inyo. Dahil sila ay maglilingkod na ng buong-buo sa Panginoon. Drugs, alis. Piso, alis. Pornography, yes. alis. Jesus. Sexual sins, alis. In the mighty name of Jesus. Homosexuality, alis. Greediness, alis. Rebellion, out right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Inability to forgive. In Jesus' name. Oh, sa buhay ko out sa bahay ko out sa spiritual life ko yes. I will be on fire Amen. I will give my life to the Lord oh blood of Jesus oh blood of Jesus right now dismantle right now dismantle yes, oh oh can a nation be born in a day answer is yes. Can a person be changed in a day? The answer is yes. Can a person be delivered in a day? The answer is yes. And today receive your freedom. Today receive your freedom. Raise your hands. If you are claiming freedom in your life, If you wanna let go, if you wanna let go, if you wanna say goodbye to your past, raise your hands and receive the healing, the deliverance that comes from the Lord. Pa balik na si Lord, pa balik na si Lord in Jesus' name. Be set free. In Jesus' name, be set free. Oh, the greatest power in the world. Oh, Rabashi Karaya Rabahate. Hugasan mo kami. Tanggalin mo ang 
hindi dapat i-demolish mo ang hindi dapat nakatira. Palayain mo ngayon lahat ngayon din sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sharayara ba si karayara ba hati? Sharayara ba si karayara ba hati? Wishing na-encounter mo ang Panginoon supernaturally. Gumalaw ang Diyos ngayon sa buhay mo na hindi mo ine-expect. May binunod siya sa'yo na hindi mo kaya pero binunod ng Panginoon ngayon. Oh, worship the Lord. Oh, worship the... I want you to claim the victory. I want you to claim the freedom. I want you to say, Lord, thank you for the freedom. Come on. Don't plead. Say thank you. Don't plead. Say thank you. Sharayara bashi, karayara bashi, karayara bahati. Ura para bashi, karayara bahati. Pagbuhos na mangyayari sa mga taong sasabihin na, Lord, ayoko lang tumanggap. Gusto kong magbigay. Ayoko lang ng inaalagaan. Gusto kong mag-alaga. Lord, hindi lang ako ang pagagalingin. Magpapagaling ako. Lord, hindi lang mga demonyo ko ang palalayhasin. Magpapalayas ako ng demonyo sa tao. Lord, hindi lang ako ang makikinig. May mga makikinig sa akin para lumaya, para gumaling, para tanggapin ang Panginoon at para lumago at maging disipulo ng Panginoon. Lord, ati, kontento na ako na hanggang dito lang. Hindi pala pwede. I need to be shining or I will be sinning. Ang dami nag na tumulong, magbigay. Ang dami nag na mag-minister, mag-serve, mag-preach. Gamitin ang Panginoon. Hindi pala pwede. We need to prepare the way of the Lord. And we need to light our lamps. And we need to be burning. We cannot be like other Christians who are compromising. We cannot be like other Christians. Nas yung isang paa na sa Joes at yung isang paa na sa mundo. No, we want to be all out, sold out Christians who will truly obey, who will be like a child, suntin lahat ng pinapagawa, and who will be so powerful. To be an agent of change in this dying world, we want to be Christians who are anointed. We want to be Christians full of power, and the oil is the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is given to people who has a high calling. Ko uupo lang the Holy Spirit, we won't be given. The 
Holy Spirit is given in Acts 1.8 baba pa ang Holy Spirit dahil magbabago siya ng mundong ito. Father, ang dilim, this world is getting darker. Help us to shine our light. Help us to be the light of the world, to be the salt of the earth. Help us not to be apathetic. Help us to be compassionate. Help us to do something. Help us to make a difference. And help us, Lord God, to shine. Raise your hands if you want this. Amen. Come on. If gusto mo ito, I want you to talk to the Holy Spirit and tell the Holy Spirit, Oh, I need you. I want you. I will partner with you more. I will obey you more. I will participate. I will soak. I will charge myself with the Holy Spirit and with the things of the Spirit like prayer, devotion. I will be so in love. I will be so addict in the things of God. Lord, hindi pwedeng empty ako. Hindi pwedeng nauupusan ako ng battery. Gusto ko lagi ako full charge at may extra pa. At ikaw, Panginoon, ang aking oil. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, ask the Holy Spirit today. And today, He's gonna grant Himself to you. He's gonna grant His anointing. He's gonna grant His power. In Jesus' name. Come on, receive, receive, receive. Come on, receive, receive, receive. To those who will ask, to those who will declare, de claim the Holy Spirit. Receive, 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 receive. Come on, speak in tongues. Igep, igep, igep. Do not be drunk in wine. Be drunk. In the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kung hindi tayo sasakay sa Kanya, then we won't be saved. Tanggapin mo si Jesus, bumalik ka kay Jesus, recommit your life to Jesus, bumalik ka sa paglilingkod sa Kanya, and you will be saved. Kapatid, today, receive your salvation. Today, Start working out your salvation. Ibig sabihin, pangalagaan. Huwag bitawan. Alagaan. I-embrace. Because kay Jesus lang, wala nang iba. Walang means para tayo ay maligtas. Kundi si Jesus lang. And I want you to just commit and ask help from the Holy Spirit. Lord, help me to bring my family to the ark. Help me 
to bring my friends to the ark. Help me, Lord God, to bring my community, my campus to the ark. As many as I can, Holy Spirit, I need you. I pray that you use me mightily to be Jesus representative to prepare the way of the Lord to be the light in this world. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Worship the Lord, worship the Lord. be upon a thousand generations in your family and your children and the children and the children and his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he's with you in the morning in the morning in your evening in your calling in your going in your weeping and rejoicing he's for you he's for you he's baby be upon you and a thousand receive his blessing receive his favor and oh, receive his and power children, receive his and anointing children, oh. go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he's with you he's with you sa lahat nang may sakit, hawakan mo yung parte sa katawan mo na may sakit because isa sa perks natin. Perks ng tinanggap ang Panginoon, perks ng followers ng Diyos sa may pananampalataya sa Diyos ay kagalingan. Kung hindi mo pa oras, then walang option ang Diyos kundi pagalingin ka. And I, I, I want to pray right now. Sige, hawakan mo yung parte na may sakit. By Jesus' tribes, you are healed. And today, I declare for healing. I declare for healing right now. I declare for miracle. Ano man yan. Walang cancer sa Panginoon. Walang maluban sakit sa Panginoon. Ano man yan, o kung ubo, or lagnat, kung cancer nga pagagalingin, ubo pa kaya, be gone right now. In the name of Jesus. This is our faith. This is our perks as Christians. That we will be healed. That the Lord will grant healing. And so we declare, we declare right now that by Jesus' stripes, we are healed. We are healed. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Tatayo po tayong lahat. Amen. I want you sincerely pumunta sa someone na ini-impress ni Lord sa'yo, yakapin mo lang ng mahigpet. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. You just, you don't need to say anything. Just, just, we Hug. Thank you, Lord. And spread the fire. Come on, spread the fire. We are And by His wounds, we Oh, healing, 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 healing. Oh, rabashi, karabah. Hindi lang physical, but emotional. I declare, sa lahat ng depressed. Ah, sorry. Ngayong araw na to, natapos ang depression. Because you will be on fire for Jesus. Oh. Kung gusto mong humapal, kung nanay, tatay mo, may sakit. As we sing this song, taas mo sila sa Panginoon and declare healing. Say the name and sabihin mo, by His tribes, we are, you are healed. By His wounds, You are healed. We are healed. We are
Lord, I bless everyone. Whatever that we have declared today will happen in their lives. Walang malakas na demonyo sa malakas na galaw ng Espiritu Santo. And we just declare today, Lord God, na may namatay, may napiriyudan, at may nabuhay sa bawat isa sa amin. And we just also declare, may kumaling at patuloy kang pagagalingin. May po-protection ng ka. Bawat isa ay po-protectionan mo sa galaw ng demonyo. Walang tatay, nanay, mga anak. Ang matitira ng demonyo. I pray for a hedge of protection. Yung makapal, in Jesus' name, ano mang pana, galaw, plano ng demonyo sa bawat pamilya, sa bawat marriage, sa bawat relationship, sa bawat life group, sa bawat finances, ang magpe-prevail, maipapang ng lahat ng mga bata sa sinapupunan ng aking mga kapatid. Lord God, yung mga uh, uh, deals na kailangan maklose ay makuklose. Madaming kliyente, may promotion, may milagro. Panginoon, tuition fees na bababayaran, provision kabi-kabila. At yung mga pinagpe-pray po namin, may mga ilang prayers na ngayon, Sinasabi ng Panginoon, it will be released. Withdraw ka na anak. Answered prayer ka na. Dahil gusto kong ipakita sa'yo na totoo ang mga milagro dahil totoo ako. Salamat Panginoon. Sharayarabashik, karayarabahan. Claim, claim, claim. Blessing. Jesus' name, amen, hallelujah. 